everybody so i'm here at the good guys here in Dar and one of the things that i walked past i saw this beautiful ride behind me and then i noticed the gentleman sitting down beside it and i thought okay this man looks familiar customs how's it going good yeah my name is ricardo lopez and uh we're here at del mar and we're showing our 56 cherry truck today it's beautiful it's absolutely beautiful we're gonna have a look at that in depth now i follow you on instagram which is why i walked up to you you've got some amazing deals all your cars in fact you've got steamer as well how do you feel about that how's it going well I, I feel great it's a dream come true it's something that i always look forward to do uh, but the main thing it was to be able to build cars that people really love and like you know it's, yeah. that's what it makes me feel more more happy about it and how long have you been in business for i've been in business for 24 years in california yeah but i'm a third generation uh, on this industry. okay it's in your blood it is it's in your blood <laughs> fair enough now do you just do uh, trucks or do you do all sorts no of we cars? do all restaurant mods we can do any any american cars and very few europeans too now um whereabouts are you located where is your location uh, we're located straight out of compton okay. it's uh close to la okay. that's our but, our, our but you work with clients from all over the states Yes, actually all over the world too. That's we 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 done some few cars that they went out of the country overseas. Yes. No, it's okay. I'm saying that it's wrong. It's okay. How do I say? It? How do you spell it? L O P E Z. Customs by Lopez. Lopez Customs. Yes. Okay, but your Lucada. Customs by Lopez. Customs by Lopez. Yes. There we go. We're gonna get more of the details, and I'll put in the description as yes. well. But hey, let's have a look at the seats and behind you. Okay, we're here. Um, I wanted to show you guys a 56 Chevy truck that I built for my wife. I don't know if, you're, if you know the story about the truck. This truck was built for my wife, Monica, and we name it Monique. That's actually the uh, name of the truck. So, I... Wow, she would fit perfectly in this because I have seen pictures of both of you at SEMA. Oh, really? Beautiful lady. Oh. And this truck is perfect for her. Yes. Uh, Actually, it was built uh, with some of her ideas. Okay. She chose and pick colors. She actually helped to, you know, uh, pick whatever was more uh, close to what she really likes. Okay. So, um, yeah, we did this truck for her. We have a 383 stroker, and it's a fuel injection by uh, Fight Tech. We have uh, the uh, serpentine pulley kit from Eddie Motorsports, Headman Headers vintage chair and one of our biggest sponsors all the time it's uh us radiators they also supporting our builds um on the color skin it's house of color that's a really nice uh, combination uh, formula that we actually made and mix for for this specific build um i love monique's taste monica's taste what color red would you call this because it's really standing out this is called euro red Euro red. Euro red. That's from okay. House of Color. House of Color. All, all of uh, whole floor, it's House of Color. Anytime you have two contrasting colors, like the gray here with the red, it just looks magnificent, doesn't right? it? Right. <laughs> Especially when the block is all done like that. It's been done very well. Yeah, well, we have uh, same thing. It's our big supporter. It's uh, Bunny Wheels. They always support our builds. This is a combination of 20 uh, rear wheels and 19 front. With um, what I love about it, it's, it's the background, is the bare brakes. That's one of the best uh, companies as far as on on uh, stopping brake uh, systems. Yep. Uh, I mean, I I think I love that combination right there. Well, anytime you've got a block like that, that's a priority, isn't it? So, and then uh, as far as all the exterior body, body lines, all the little details, it was it was very meticulous. Um, uh, we can see that. Look at this fine Yeah, all the body lines. Yeah. Every, every body, every single line, it has to fit perfectly. That's actually something that we really I love. love. The group here. See this big thing? Yeah, one of my uh, favorite parts is interior and the tailgate's one of my favorite ones too. I love the tailgate. We have to get there and have a look at that, but look at this interior everybody. Love the headliner. Wow. I've 
loving this rain. Yes, it's it, it fits perfect with the truck. Wow. Yeah, later today we will have the actual owner, Monica. Okay. She'll be here and maybe she wanted to share something about the truck or how yeah, she feels absolutely. about it. We have to get her on film for sure. Right. Look at this red again, everybody. Now, is this wood painted? This is hard maple wood. It's been, um, it has a, a base of Euro red. Okay. Uh, we really, uh, Clean it up. We reduced the, the, the actual base, and then we came back with uh, candy apple red over it and clear coat it. That's actually the effect that we did. And is this an actual light? Here? This is an actual light. It actually it's a turn signal sequential. It actually uh, <laughs> it points left or right. And again, stop. It actually light up on Monique's. That's one of the. Uh, this is my favorite part of the truck right here. As you see, we tuck in the bumper, we made a roll pan, we custom made everything in order to have a complete finished product right there. I definitely have to meet Monica because out of all the beautiful classics out there, I would like to know why she chose to do a truck because I love the C10s as well. So definitely want to have a chat with her. But can we come back inside the bed here? And sure. The fine details. Yeah, every detail that we did is on the... Uh, that's the uh, Fender Stats. We use uh, 80 Motorsports um, uh, called Beauty Rings. Beauty Rings, I love that. That's, uh, uh, like I say, uh, 80 Motorsports. It's sponsored on hood hinges. It's a lot of the uh, interior parts that we have also as well on the, uh, on the build. We have well, some- Everything is custom here, right? Pretty much, <laughs> yes. Left. The good thing about it is that you can you can buy a, 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 some of the stuff. It's all direct to fit. That's what we do mainly with the companies, our partners. Okay. I mean, if someone wants to do it in their garage, they can be able to do it. That's the good thing about it. You know, you don't need a pro. Yeah. Maybe for the paint job. Yes. But I mean, most of the parts that we get, it's, it's, it's uh, bolt on. Some of them, they require welding. But this is actually what we wanted to work with the companies, so anyone can be able to install the parts. I love that because there are so many people out there who are working on classics, who are either restoring it or doing complete resto mods. This something here is something that a person can do out fine. They, yes. They don't need to take it, but they can. It's almost kind of like a kit car, but to a higher grade. <laughs> it is. It is. Um, but like I say, don't don't. For people that's building a car in their garage, don't be afraid to ask questions. Don't yes. be afraid to call companies and say, hey, is, is that something that I can do in my garage? You know, it won't hurt. So yeah. I recommend to do that, whoever is building cars. Thank you for that. Now, are these door poppers? Or? Uh, this is, uh, no, actually it's a uh, Ken Diggett door handles. This is actually the way you get it open. Very, very popular too now. Well, now. What, uh, what would be one of the benefits of having that as opposed to a door popper or just a regular door? Well, I, I like the style of it. Yes, uh, I think uh, I've done a, a lot of door poppers. It's just, I would say, you just don't do it manually. You just press the button and, and, and it'll pop the door open okay. uh, automatically. It's so it no. makes it more, feel more like a car when you're walking up and opening the door. Yes. <laughs> All right, so let's have a look inside. Yeah, definitely. Very clean dash. And we've got the high-tech screen here. Yes, that's, that's your handheld. You can get all your readings right there. You can make any adjustments you wanted to do with it. And it's something that I really love to have um, on the truck. We really love uh, high-tech. I mean, every detail, a lot of the oval, like the, uh, on the back of the seat, the logos, they're oval, our ACs, the courtesy lights, they're oval. We kind of follow a pattern. And, and also, if you notice, the pattern of the, uh, the stitching is the same pattern of the front grille.
Right. <laughs> and we've got a plaque here as well, Chevrolet. This is to show that the original body. That's the original body. That's all the uh, blinkers. That's the, blinker. That's the turn signal lights as well as the uh, halo. So these two. The, those two. And then Monique light, lights up at night again. So. Battery. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It, it's underneath the, uh, the cab. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because I didn't notice it in the back. Yeah. No, it's underneath the cab. That's where we have the battery. I'm not even gonna try and look for it because I don't think I'll be able to find it. No. <laughs> you have to raise the truck in order to get into the battery. Okay. But we have an easy access to recharge just in case. If your battery dies, driver's side, you just open a little door and then you can recharge it from there. Show me that. You just open this, and that's your area to recharge the battery. Those little compartments, the hidden parts that are there, especially when hiding the battery for starters. Absolutely Thanks. love it. Uh, this is a brilliant truck, and I hope that I can run into Monica as well sometime today. She'll be later today and tomorrow on Sunday, so... Okay, sounds good. Thank you so much. No, thank you very much. Thanks for coming over. Yeah, thank you.